if you deny your soul the connection to the wild places that it craves, the fire inside of you will slowly turn to ash. This is a plant called horsetail, and it has an abrasive stem. Indigenous cultures used it like sandpaper. But this plant is why I've come to the woods today. This is called burdock, and Mother Nature has been preparing my lunch for almost a year. You may recognize burdock by its second year growth with these huge Velcro-like burrs. But it's the first year plant that I'll be digging up. got an old camp nearby that I haven't been to in a while, and I think that's where I'll go for lunch today. A lot of good memories at this camp, a lot of good meals shared. But today, it's just lunch for one. There's something about the woods that just brings out a sense of gratefulness. Now that my skillet is nice and hot, it's time to prepare lunch. 
and I'm going to start by adding in some duck fat. And then some of my favorite Italian sausage. Now it's time for my wild burdock root. And now it's officially time for lunch. Italian sausage with wild burdock root cooked in wild duck fat. Now this is gonna be good. Let's try the wild burdock root first. Oh man. <laughs> oh my gosh. It should be illegal to have a meal like this in the woods. So burdock root is very earthy in flavor. It's got such a natural, just kind of of the woods, of the meadow flavor. Uh, the closest I can describe it from a domesticated vegetable is it's kind of like a potato, it's kind of like a parsnip, and it's kind of like a carrot. It's all three of those combined, except more woodsy in taste. But cooked in duck fat, oh man, that is one of the best root vegetables I've ever had. Let's try my Italian sausage. Oh my gosh. I mean, Italian sausage is good in and of itself, but when you cook it in duck fat over a campfire, oh my gosh. This is an incredible lunch on so many levels. I wish you were here right now because if you were, I would dig a burdock root for you and fry up one of my extra Italian sausages right here in the campfire. And we would share a meal together. Oh my gosh, incredible. Absolutely incredible.